Hello Lolas, welcome back to my channel guys. Guys, if you're new to this channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, click the bell to be a part of the notification squad. And if you guys are not following me on Instagram, please make sure you follow me. It's Miss Serenity underscore Smith. And also guys, if you're not following my blog, my blog is MissSerenitySmithBabies.com. And if you're not a part of the chatterbox, feel free to join. It is for Anyone that's over 18 years old or older, it is $1.99 a month. Um, the chatterbox is where we hang out as doll collectors. Um, like being on YouTube right here makes us very vulnerable to people that doesn't understand our hobby or anything like that. But in the chatterbox, it's primarily going to be doll collectors that people that enjoy dolls or um, want to get into the hobby and we just have girl talk tea talk whatever we want to do laugh whatever but we do it live um i do sometimes include some video clips um on topics that i don't put out here but for the most part we do do um live streams at least once a month sometimes twice a month sometimes a little you know it just depends on my schedule but guaranteed um once a month so let me first explain this is Zora and you guys I'm sure know her because she's been on the last couple videos um but I wanted to let you guys know that I did go in I think it was Sharon that actually suggested first that I put like some type of like a rod or something she said PVC um like a piece of PVC pipe or something like that but I still had like a armature that I had broken down here and so what I did was I took a piece of the armature about, I don't know, just, you know, long, about that long. I don't know. I don't know. And I, I put it inside her. So her, uh, let me show you guys where we're at. So, oh, hang on. It, it might not let me. Okay. All right. So I put the armature. It goes up in her head and down into about right here in her chest so it allows me like she can bend but it allows her head not to be slumped so that fixed the problem and because she doesn't have a full armature everywhere she you, she doesn't squeak or anything but she does you know her head is definitely more stabilized and everything so i really like that um, I'm probably going to order another armature like that. I may actually do Phoenix like that as well. So it worked out really well, but she does not squeak. Um, the only thing she did lose a little bit of is her head doesn't flop as much, which is good because at this age, really, to be honest, her head shouldn't be really flopping like that. That was just me being needy. Um, but yeah, so she sits up really good. So say we're getting there and this is what she's wearing she has on a cute little pink romper and she has on her cute little sandals they're carter sandals and they fit her really nicely like perfect um let me see what size they are six to nine months is what they are carter six to nine months see the babies even though they're designed to be one and two years old their shoe size is not going to be like necessarily that size um these babies don't have gigantic feet. However, her feet is proportioned for her. So, but yeah, as you can see, she said, I'm wearing it, TTs. Okay. So, we're going to get Memphis dressed today. Hopefully, he can fit this outfit. The last outfit was too small. I'm going to upload that clip for you guys one day. I had it on um, Instagram, but they made me take it off because of the music. I was playing my good old country music, so... Oh, Lord. What did I do? Okay. So, I definitely just messed something up. Alright, guys. I somehow turned a lot of light on them. But this is her. I don't know. If, I don't know what happened. Somehow, I, I switched the coloring. It made them look like super light. But anyway, that's her in case you didn't see her but that's her her shoe because i'm like why is it so light that's her little pink outfit it did come with a hat um but the hat was really really small so it wouldn't fit on her um head without looking it it fit but it looked kind of crazy so 
I just said, well, we'll just keep our little headband on. That works. All right, so let's get back to Memphis. I'll just have to attach these two videos together. All right, so let's get back to Memphis. So Memphis, I am going to try to get him dressed. Let's see, where can I, how can I get into here? Get into it, get into it. Okay, let's, let's give you a little bit more light, baby, because I'm going to take away some of your light. And your sister is in here too, so that's going to be... All right, Zora. <laughs> don't, don't let mama get some room over here. All right. So, yeah. Um, I was thinking about, you know, holidays come up. You want to... Um, I was thinking about giveaways. Oh, this diaper is so sweet on him. I was going to put him on this diaper to match his clothes, but oh, I don't know. All right, I'm gonna, I'll save this diaper. Um, sometime I, most of the time I throw my diapers away just because I have so many diapers here. But um, sometime I will reuse them a couple times or save them. I didn't mean to drop his head like that. But um, yeah. But this time I'm going to save that particular diaper. I know it's a, one of the old prints that you can't get anymore. So I'm going to save it because he only wore it for a short period of time. So, And then he can wear it again later. But yeah, I was thinking about giveaways and stuff like that because the holidays come up and, you know, you the love mail would be so exciting. It used to be so exciting in the community and stuff like that. It's just the giveaways, as you guys know, can come with challenges too because... You know, sometimes people get upset the way you choose to do them, the way you pick the winner, um, who wins, all that stuff. And to be honest, I try to be as fair as possible with the giveaway. I know that a lot of the giveaways are pretty much like preset and rigged. Like people already know who they're going to give and or only the people with big platforms are popular. Uh followings usually win stuff like that and you know honestly it may not be right but this is the this is how the world goes to be honest people are not people are trying to promote their business they're not gonna that's what they're gonna do I, I'm not gonna I'm gonna say I don't want to do that but I'm gonna not say that I'm going to judge people for doing it when they have a business and they're trying to promote their business. I mean, hey, it is what it is. Um, I've seen it work, though, where sometimes they turn around. These are so cute. <laughs> I love these. Love, 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 love. Okay. Um, but I've seen where sometimes, you know, you'd be surprised. And someone that that you least expect wins. Um, I typically, the reason why I do mine, usually I like pick so far. So yeah, I get to have some say and be like, hey, you know, this is the person I think would be good for it. And then I usually put it on a poll on my community tab and let everybody um choose from there like i let i let the the community decide like i usually let the community to vote that way it's public that way you guys make the choice and i don't see it and so um i mean i don't i don't have the final say in it and so you can't say it was rigged because i i have no way youtube don't let me control the votes or anything so that's the way I usually do it because it's the fairest way. I'm thinking if, if if everything goes well for me financially and stuff like that, I probably, during the holidays, probably will just send out, like, love mail. Like, I don't think I'm going to do any of that. I'm just going to, you know, maybe pick who I want to pick and just send love mail to. Um, only because I just... I. I don't think I have the time to manage it or anything like that. Um, I won't lie. There was a time I had a person that would help me look through like the the uh, messages and emails and stuff like that. And, you know, narrow down the search and stuff. And then, you know, that changed. 
And um, so I pretty much will be on my own doing it. And I'm I'm really I really gotta get some babies completed and stuff so that they can be on their way. So and this is zero to three months, guys. The onesie and the the uh the rumper that he's putting on is both zero to three. Oh, I love these wooden buttons. Oh my goodness, they're so cute. Let me tell you something. Um, my taste in my babies are is so far, um, so different. All right, baby, you gotta come up off this blanket. That's the problem. It, it just ain't working out. The color up against the... Uh, first of all, let's move this pillow. Okay, okay. Zora, hold up. All right. Come on, baby. This is just clashing like crazy. All right. There we go. All right. All right, so... Um... What was I even saying? I forgot what I was saying. Um, oh, my taste. My taste is like all over the place right now. Like I love me a light skin baby. I love me a chocolate baby. I love me a nice white baby. Like I am all over the place. The one baby that I want to have one day, really, really want, is I really want an Asian baby. Um, I have one. Um... That was pretty Asian, but I ended up selling her. But um, I, I, I would love to have a really nice Asian baby. That's something that I haven't had a lot of. Um, but yeah, my my taste is like all over the place. Like I love such a wide variety of babies. It's just I don't know. Like I I. Ooh, these would go cute. Let me see. Yeah, I just love such a wide uh, variety of babies that I just, I'm all over the place. So I can't right now say, oh, my taste is this, my taste is that. Because my taste is kind of like, I like everything. Like, what do you, what do you prefer? Like, I... You know, it's like big babies, small babies, tiny, tiny babies. Um, now, believe it or not, I am really loving the awake babies and the sleep babies. Like, man, I'm I'm just really all over the place. I don't know what what's going on with me. Dang it, guys! I was really trying to find. Oh, there is that it. That might be it. Oh, I got stuff everywhere, guys. It is really, really getting to be a bit much in my life. <laughs> I got so much stuff to do. I, I've been purposely not doing anything that's going to really take my attention away, like, for a long period of time so that I can finish <laughs> rooting. So I really even letting a lot of stuff go. And when it's all said and done, I'm going to take a short break to really like get in and focus on all the stuff that I haven't did I I got my bed set for the fall I want to do on my I want to get changed out I haven't been able to do that either because I just been like okay I'm gonna just work on this and then once that's completed I can move on and I think that's going to be the best way to do it, to be honest. Because otherwise, I get so distracted, guys. I be, I be all into stuff that I ain't got no business into. And then I look up and my project not done. And I'm like, dang, I still got to do this. Yeah, because you done jumped over to a thousand things. He would be cute with a little hat. But I don't got no hat over here. So, oh well. But that's him in his little cutesy outfit. Um, I'll probably put him back in his little swing 
so that he can like sit up, not sit up, but you know, lay there and show off his little outfit. I like when they have on like really cute outfits. I like to put them where they're like the focal point um, when uh, when people walk in the nursery. Like people gonna be here. Nobody comes here, but <laughs> but it sounded good. Um, but no, when I walk in, I'm the people. When I walk in, I like to, to have that presence. Um, yeah. So I'm going to get Jersey next, dress next probably. But man, these two, they look so lovely together. Like, I just love, I love my babies. I am so excited, guys. I know I say this every, every so many weeks, every so many months. I'm like, I'm so excited about my collection. And then I'm like selling more babies, which in fact, here's the tea for today. Um, either today or tomorrow, you guys will see a baby pop up in somebody else's collection that has been sold from this collection. So I will let them do their box opening in peace without disclosing that. That's why I haven't said who left the nursery yet. So you guys will be able to see, but as you can see, it's not Zora or Memphis, but <laughs> it's somebody. So who would it be? Dum, 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 dum. So will it be a little baby, big baby? Who knows? I don't know. But anyway, so one of the babies is gone. So I have room for one more. That's what I've been thinking. Like, it's like, girl, you're supposed to be downsizing and just be like happy with the space. But instead it's like, ooh, who can I put in this space now? Okay, okay, I'm gonna put somebody in this space. No, I got a baby that's getting rooted now. And when she comes, I'm praying to God. Yes, I did say that. And I'm sorry for those that don't believe. I am praying that I am able to put her together because I've never put together a Ping Lao sculpt. I'm gonna tell y'all something else too about me. I'm gonna tell y'all something else too. I'm going to tell y'all something else too. Guess what, guys? I am like feeling like, okay, I got this German vinyl thing. So you know what? Now, I'm not limited anymore. I'm so glad that I've been pushed over the edge. And I'm going to tell you who broke the mold for me. First of all, it was Jude by Ogara. When I saw that kid, let me tell you something. And I didn't know that it was going to be German vinyl. Let me tell you something. I did not... I didn't feel no type of way. That kid's so beautiful. I was like, I don't care. But I didn't really understand it completely. And I think I did a, a, a really good job on him. Um, his mommy definitely loves him and everything. Rico, he's with Big Hearts Reborn Nursery. Um, and I think I think he came out. He First of all, I was able to get a color that I like on him. So I think he came out. He turned out amazing. But I hadn't really got a grip of the the vinyl yet because that vinyl was a little bit more easier I think than the Ping Lao kit because the Ping Lao kit was also not only was it German vinyl but it also like a pinky color like it was just not a nice color to begin with so I started off doing that one wrong like as far as um I didn't mat it first or nothing like that but because I have to do a replacement arm because they sent the wrong arm with the kit originally and I'm trying my hardest to match the color, I started off with the matte, a thin layer of matte, guys. And then now I'm painting it. It seemed like the color is taken like that versus when I first started, I was painting on that baby for weeks and it was about to still the same color as the vital. I'm like, oh my gosh, this is crazy. So I got the like the wrong arm next to it and I keep holding up trying to gauge the color. I've never had to color match my colors before. So I am scared to pieces. Oh guys, I also worked on this other project and it's not, it has nothing to do with dolls, but I will tell y'all in the next video, well not next video, when I see how it works, I'm gonna, sh I might share that. Maybe it's real personal, but um, I, was, I might share it for you, with y'all uh, later. But yeah, so I'm all over the place, guys. So let me go, and I will talk to you guys later. I hope you guys enjoyed Memphis and Zora. Um, yeah, so look at her got her legs crossed. I didn't even realize she had her little legs crossed. Wait a minute. Wait for it. This little girl. Look at her. 
I did not realize that she had her little legs crossed. It's the legs crossed for me. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love these babies. Oh gosh, guys. Listen, oh, also guys, comment below any babies that's between six months to toddler size that you guys love and would like to see me paint. Um, I definitely want to paint more bigger babies. Um, if somebody, um, I ain't gonna say that just yet. I ain't, I don't want to be too bold, but yeah, I'm definitely that. And there is a few silicone babies that I want to paint, but I don't think I'm gonna have time this year to get to that. But yeah, see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.